Hi everybody, it's Jenna from Jenna Stitches. Welcome to my channel if you are new here. Thank you for, so much for stopping by and checking it out. If you like my um, content, please think about liking, subscribing, commenting, sharing, doing all that great stuff. Um, I promise you won't be disappointed. And if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate that as well. I love everybody who subscribes and love getting to know everybody in the comments. Um, so today's video is going to be um, my show and tell, I guess, of why am I drawing a blank? My Annie's Moroccan Tile Afghan Kit Number 5. Um, so I have been showing my progress on this blanket the entire time. Um, if you're not familiar with it, here it is. So this is a crochet kit you can get from Annie's. This one specifically is the Moroccan tile afghan, but I believe the colorway of the blanket is called the Casablanca afghan because you can get it in four different colorways. Um, and I don't know if I've made a playlist for it yet, but I do plan on it. So if I haven't yet, um, I'll probably do that after I make this video. So by the time you see it, it will already be there or within the next few days. But I do plan on making a playlist so that all of my Annie's videos can be found together. But so far, um, kit one through this one being five, I've made a video after every kit to show you what came with the kit and how the blanket is progressing. So here is a full picture of the blanket and kit number five was these two squares here. And there is three of each. So there's one, two, three. Oh, nope, that's the other square. One. <laughs> two, three of that square, and then one, two, three of the second square. And um, if you've watched the past videos on it, and if you haven't, I do suggest to go back and watch them because then you'll get the full feel of the blanket rather than just starting at kit five. But if you've watched the past videos, kit one through four, I was pretty disappointed in the blanket. Um, I don't know what really happened, but somewhere in the middle of making kit four through making kit five, I just absolutely fell in love with it. I don't know if it's because I'm really, really enjoying these squares because kit number four was the start of the squares around the outside. Where's the pattern for? So kit number four, we had like one line that went around the big square and then you had to make four of the corner squares. And I really, really enjoyed making them and I really enjoyed making the six for this one. So I don't know if that's what it was or what but my whole like attitude on the blanket has completely changed i'm now enjoying to work working on it where before i just didn't want to um i can't wait for kit number six to get here which it did ship and it should actually be here in a couple days because i just keep forgetting to make this video and i've actually had it recorded twice but i wasn't posting it and i kept deleting it on accident <laughs> so um I checked the shipping for kit number six and I was like, you know what? I just got to go make kit number five's video. Um, but I'm really, really enjoying making the squares and I can't wait to get kit six. And I'm really super excited to actually attach them to the blanket. So all those like negative feelings I had, these squares I'm thinking are just uh, making up for all that. And I know um, if you've seen the other videos or you're part of my Facebook group and if you're not, go check it out. I'll have it linked down below. Um, the center of my blanket is bowing really, really bad. Um, for everybody who said go ahead and frog it and restart, this is actually a really big part of the blanket. I, you might want to if it's your own. I am not frogging it. I don't care that much that it bows to go back and redo it all over again. Um, also, I, apparently somebody had told me there is a whole Facebook group about the center of this blanket because it is a very common thing that happens to everybody that makes the blanket. Some not as bad as others, but the way the middle of the blanket is made does cause it to bow out. Um, blocking it will help. And then a lot of people have said once they actually added the squares and did the out bo outside border, it fixed the inside enough that it wasn't noticeable anymore. And um, this isn't going to be a gift for anybody that I know of yet, but if it is, it's just going to be like, here, mom, have a blanket or here, best friend. Um, it's not going to be like something that I give to somebody as like a present or anything. And right now, I mean, the thought the whole time was just to keep it for myself. So I'm not really that 
concerned about the inside bowing that I would, you know, frog months of work to fix it. And it's still going to bow based on what everybody's been telling me. So, um, there's that. Uh, but I think once all the squares get on, hopefully it will fix it. If I tug on it, it does fix it. Um, so I think putting the squares on it and having more weight to it will fix that bowing. So I'm, that's why I'm kind of looking forward to getting them attached too. Other than that, they're beautiful and they've been so fun to work on. I, I want to get them attached and see the whole, the whole blanket come together. So I've definitely been enjoying this a lot more than previous kits. Um, this kit came with two skeins of cream, which I guess I can show you as I'm saying it. It's all sitting right here. Um, so it came with two skeins of this cream color. The entire blanket is made out of the Premier Anti-Pilling Everyday Worsted that comes with the kit. Um, these are 90 yard skeins, medium number four, 100% acrylic. This is the color weight cream. It perfectly matches my shirt. So it came with two of these and I did have one left over from the previous kit and out of the two I didn't even touch this one and I have a little bit left of the other one. And if you've watched the past videos you do know that one of my complaints was how much extra yarn they give you. Um, I have talked to other people about it and other people have said you know my problem is not that they give us extra it's that I don't have enough. So. You know, I guess it's just everybody's tension. I have tons left over. Like, I'm not even touching the yarn that's coming with these kits, except for cream. Um, but other people were running out. So I guess it's just all in how you crochet and how your tension is. Um, I do still kind of wish I didn't have so much left over, but I definitely um, can make stuff with it when I'm done. So that negativity part of it too kind of just went away and I'm like hey I could make a hat with this when I'm done if I still have it left over or I could put these two colors together and make this so um yes I still don't think that they should give you so much yarn but hey I have yarn left over when I'm done um it also came with one skein of indigo which it's still in the bag. I didn't even need it. I still have quite a bit of indigo left from a previous kit. Um, so, full ball, not even touched. It came with a full ball of Rocco, Rocco? Yes, Rocco Rose. Still in the bag. Didn't even touch it. And have quite a bit left from a previous kit. And then it also came with a peach sand. And surprise, surprise, full skein, still in the bag, didn't even touch it. And it's in here buried. I still have a little bit left from pre previous kits. Not too much there, but does I do have some left over still from a previous skein. So the only color I needed out of this kit was the cream. And really the fact that I'm going to have, well, and I don't know until I'm done with the blanket. What if at one point they don't even send yarn and um, I'm just going to use what I have left over. I don't know. I've never made one of these before. But that's kind of my complaint. Not really that I'm going to have all this yarn left over, but the fact that I, I'm not even touching the yarn that comes with the kit. But again, hey, I just have some extra yarn in the end. Um, but it also used colors that didn't come with the kit. And I think this is only the second time out of all five kits that we've actually used colors that they didn't send. Um, but we had to use a little bit of the Cerulean colorway. And if we remember back to kit four, I had a full skein and just a very, very tiny bit left of another skein. Um, so I did finally use that little bit that was left over and got into this skein. And then we also used... Spice, which I have a full ball of spice from a previous kit I haven't even touched. And is this spice? It looks like it. Yes. I still have this left over from what I was using for this blanket. So this was from like kit three or something, and I still haven't even touched it. But that leads us into the squares. Um, let me figure out which ones they are because I got my squares from kit four still sitting in here too. And I'm just, like I said, loving making these squares. It's so much fun. Um, here's the square from kit four. So those are the four corners. 
but we made two different squares throughout kit five and here they are. So this is the first one I made. Um, and actually I messed up on the very first one I made, which again, I'm not going to go back and frog it. It's not that big of a deal, but if you can see in this one, these like, to me, it looks like a starburst goes all the way around the square. <laughs> I missed this corner <laughs> on this one. And I didn't realize it until I was making this one. And I was like, wait, they don't match. Oh crap. But I'm not going back to fix it. So I needed three of these ones. And this one used the cerulean, the cream, the indigo, the peach sand, and the spice. So there's that one. And I don't know which out of these two that I preferred more because this was a lot of fun to make. Um, the pattern was a little bit confusing at first when I was doing the center part here. And I think that's why I messed up. And um, I can't remember if I was working on it while I was working or what, but whatever I was doing while working on it, I kept getting really distracted. I actually had to go through and without showing you the pattern too much, like underline where I was because I kept losing my place. And some of the um, rounds for this were so long. Like round 11 starts here and ends down here. This whole section right here is all the instructions for round 11. And I just kept losing my place. Um, but I mean, it was still really easy to make these. And once I made one, I didn't really even have to go back to the pattern to make the second and third one. So here's the second square. So we got a little bit of indigo in the center, some cerulean, the cream, Rocco Rose, and peach sand. And um, this one, the center, this had to have been the first one I made because it looks weird. Yeah, no, this is the first one. The center, the directions didn't really make sense to me and it didn't look good in my opinion. I don't I don't know. So I changed it up and did my own thing. This one isn't much better, but this is the last one I made and that center looks better. Honestly, now look at them. They all look the same, but I know this, the first one I made, the center really threw me off. So I kind of did my own thing with the other two, but there is the second square. So there's all three of them. This one looks the best for some reason. So that's probably the last one I made, but really fun to make. I'm really, really enjoying these squares. They also work up really fast. And I like the fact that I can get done with square number one and not really have to look at the pattern for square two and square three or with the squares for kit four. I made the first one and then the other three, I didn't have to look at the pattern. Um, I really like that about it too. And I, I don't know, I, I used to never like your granny square type thing and having to do the same thing over and over. But I don't know. I've just kind of fallen in love with it lately because I, I really like making my granny square sunflower bags and like you have to make 13 in the same square and I just love making them. Um, also something that's very, very insignificant, but I really appreciate it and liked was here is the pattern books for kit number one through four. Here's the side of them. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but here's the pattern book for kit number five. No, you can't tell. There's staples in it, though. You can kind of see it right there. Um, but these are just like fold-out pamphlets type thing. Like they fold out like that. And kit number five is made like a book. So it has a staple in it and you can flip through the pages. I really like that better. I'm not really sure why. And again, it's pretty insignificant, but I did <laughs> really appreciate that. I was like, oh, it's actual, you know, a little book instead of a little pamphlet. But here's all the, the little pamphlet books. And I do plan on, surprisingly, um, and like I said, my whole mind frame of this blanket has changed since making, like halfway through kit number four into kit number five. I was like, oh. Um, so I do want to make another one when I'm done with this one and choose my own colors for it. That's why I'm saving my books and everything and saving all my yarn labels to figure out how much yarn I actually used in the end. Um, plus I did mention making like a price comparison in the end too. 
Um, but I do want to make it again with my own yarns and um, pull stuff from my stash. So that is kit number five of my Annie's kit. And like I said, kit number six is on its way. It should be here in a couple days, but um, I'm kind of booked with crochet at the moment. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to get to it right away, but I will definitely get to it before kit number six get, or seven gets here. So within like the next month, <clears throat> Ooh, sorry, within the next like month or so, you'll see kit number six. Um, but that's what I got for you guys today. I hope everybody is having a great day. This is going to come up on Monday. So I hope everybody had a great weekend and I will see y'all tomorrow for my temperature blanket Tuesday, which I'm actually going to film right now. So everybody have a great day and I'll see you then. Bye.